heckling and decorum are becoming a problem in politics. And to get to the bottom of this, I'm joined by Canada's referee, the Speaker of the House of Commons, the Honorable Greg Fergus. Mr. Speaker, thanks for doing this. Thank you very much, Mark. It's great to be here. You've been around this place for quite some time. You're kind of like the Phantom of the Opera. You were uh, an MP since 2015. Yeah. But before that, you were actually a page here. I was a parliamentary page in 1988. So you come by your nerdiness, honestly. Look, th that nerdiness was ingrained, brother. I was, uh, even before I became a page, I used to uh, subscribe to Hansard. 13 years old, and you're sitting there in your room reading the Hansard, so you were bullied a lot. <laughs> <laughs> My parents were worried. What politician inspired you most as a kid? Watching uh, René Lévesque and uh, pierre Elliott Trudeau go at it, they were both very attractive uh, speakers. Do you ever think that one day, you're 13 years old, and you're watching uh, Pierre Elliott Trudeau give a, a great speech that you find inspiring and so interesting. And then all these years later, you're sitting there listening to his son and being so bored. <laughs> so one day you yourself will have one of these portraits. That's crazy, isn't it? Now, I've noticed one thing about these. If, yeah. I, if I could point out a few things Please. that I find interesting. Uh, you have white guy, white guy, <laughs> uh, well, white guy. Well, hold on. There, there's a there's a white guy. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There, there is a black guy. Where? Yeah, let me show you. Let me show you. Right here. George Black. <laughs> so you'd be the second black speaker. I'll be the second black speaker. Now, recently, you were actually giving a speech on the dangers of heckling. Yeah. And you were heckled to the point where you couldn't give the speech. That's right. Come. Pierre Polyev stood up and he actually speaker explained you. The government is here to serve Parliament, not the other way around. At that point, did you think uh, MP stood for most punchable? <laughs> not at all. Not at all. I mean, in the House of Commons, you have to understand that uh, all members have a lot of passion. Bad language pops up every now and then. Yeah. Pierre Trudeau famously uh, said the F word in the House and later claimed it was fuddle duddle. Well, it, it's a lie because I didn't say anything. Uh, his son. Prime Minister Trudeau, before he was Prime Minister, said the S word. And just recently, a Liberal uh, MP was accused of giving the finger in the House. Indeed. When it gets to that point, what kind of powers do you have? I'll ask members uh, to do the honorable thing, to rise in their place and to say sorry. Not and gonna happen. You know what I would do? What's that? Needle spray. <laughs> So Pierre Polly is up on his hind legs and he's going bark and bark and bark. Give him a ch 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 Hus! Hus! But I, I actually just think it's about the notion of respect and giving an opportunity for MPs to get to know each other, to understand where each one is coming from. I think that's really important for us to do. And we don't do enough of that. I think that's beautiful. I think it's high-minded. I think it's a wonderful way forward. But I also think you're going to need this, pal. Good luck. What's the range on this, you figure? 